The first thing to know about brushes is that they come in hair and bristle. Bristles are obviously thicker. And you use hair brushes for thin paint and for details, and you use bristle paint brushes for thick paint. And they come in various shapes and sizes and they're all available in bristle and hair. <clears throat> so we get flats. They're all flats. You get filberts, which is like a flat, but it's rounded. And then you get brights, and you get round and fan brushes. Flat brushes I use for coverage. And if it's a hair flat brush, you can also use it for lines. Filberts and brights are used for bold strokes. Whereas round brushes can be used for strokes as well, but smaller strokes, and you can do little bits of fiddly bits of detail with a, a small round brush. And the fan brush is used for blending. I'm not very keen on using fan brushes. I think there are better ways to blend. So just to recap, brushes come in hair and bristle. There are flat brushes which you use for filling for coverage. There are brights and there are filberts which you use for bold strokes. And then there are rounds that you use for small strokes and detail and fan brushes for blending. The other thing to know is paintbrush sizes. One manufacturer's size 18 can be a, the next manufacturer's size 24 or even maybe six. So the numbers really don't tell you a lot unless you're buying exactly the same brand. If you're buying online, you probably need to find some way of getting some measurements to know what you're buying. If you're in the shop, just ignore the sizes and choose the brush that suits you. That's the basic of paint brushes. <laughs>